Hey, yo, what it do, YouTube? Y'all know who it is, Drop Down TV. Hey, yo, my melanated family, check this out. I'm not going to hold you. I know it's Saturday and y'all got a lot to do. I mean, because I got a couple of things to do. But what I did want to do is give y'all this video to give y'all some love and shout y'all out. You understand what I'm saying? I'm shouting out all the people that standing on the front line for something. Standing for something at a time like this. Because at a time like this, people, as you see, we need people on the front line standing for something. So if you're standing for something that's positive with black people, I shout you out. I commend everything you do and I, all my love and blessings goes to you. Because at a time like this, people, we need everybody to kind of be on the same accord. And you know, black people, we, we, we struggle because not, not saying all of us, not saying all. So don't be all in the comment section looking ignorant, but I'm saying... You know how black people be. We have got a custom to trying to tear one another down. It's like it comes, it's a normal thing to try to tear the next black person down. At a time like this, I feel everybody is still entitled to their own opinion. But when times like this comes around, man, I feel you kind of kind of got to drop all odds. If you got any kind of gripe, you kind of got to let it go right now. And I mean, I'm saying all this just because, you know, this is one thing I love about this channel. I mean, and to everybody that's subscribed and the ones that watch the video and, you know, comment and all that. I mean, I got a lot, I get a lot of emails from people like from all over. Believe it or not, man, this channel, I got, I don't know, but I got a lot of people from all over the world that really watches this channel. And it's crazy to me. That's why I be wanting to know like where people located and where they from and all that. Cause it puzzles me when people be telling me they from Brazil and I mean, and I understand YouTube is a is a is a global thing. I understand that. But I mean it's still surprising to me. And I get emails from people that be like, yo, drop, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I don't know which way to turn. I mean, but these are people here in the States. I mean, just for the simple fact, us here in the States, we go through. Not saying people outside of the States don't go, because they go through it everywhere in the world. I know this. But these is just people that's in the States that's going along with this Breonna Taylor situation and all that. And I get it, man. I get it. I truly do. What y'all got to understand, son, man. Your pain is my pain when it comes to situations like that. So, I mean, when you hurt, I hurt. I'm human. We human. We hurt together, especially when it comes in that kind of form. We hurt together. Of course we do. I mean, so when people ask me like your drop, I don't know where to go, which way to turn. What do we do? I mean, princesses and kings, I'd be the same way, yo. At certain point in times, I'd be telling people, man, people that do these videos is human. I'm not a robot. I'm not a machine. I, I, I get confused sometimes, too. But one thing's for sure and two things for certain, we would not go backward. I don't want to stand going. I, it makes no sense to go backward. So you got to keep pushing forward. I know it's hard. I know you watch TVs and see verdicts like this handed out when it's blatantly obvious to us what the verdict should be. But they'll make it, they'll take that situation and turn it around and do what they do. Knowing how we gonna feel about this situation and still hand out a verdict like they did and expect us to do what we do. Go rant and rave for a couple of days and go back in. So yeah, I do get it, I understand. But going backward is not an option, people. It's not an option. So I mean, and I know people get depressed, it's depressing, but we gonna keep fighting. That's why I've always said, man, I don't care what side of the track you on, just pick a side and stay there and stand by it. You understand what I'm saying? That's enough for kind of being divided. Yeah, we can still bicker amongst each other, but all the divide, all the division, I mean, and, and, and they programmed it that way. We are divided for a reason. You can't conquer nothing that's strong and put together. It's hard to bring down a well-structured building and see if we was well-structured, we would be more of a problem. But we are not well-structured because we divided in too many different places. You're divided with religion. You're divided with, with politics. You're divided with, with everything, with race. You're divided with everything. 
And being black is, is the wrong race to be when you such divided the way we are. I mean, because sometimes I look at it like we ain't no sometime. Black people, most of the time, are our own worst enemy. We are our own worst enemy. We don't want to support nothing black. You don't want to give out. I mean, and, and which is crazy, which is crazy. I know, like I've said in the previous video, man, I know people that got little small dome black and they trying to come up. I mean, they trying to get off the ground. You got to start somewhere and their own friends won't even support them. They own friends. They would still rather go to the Chinese nail shop and get their nails done. And I mean, and it's just crazy. It's crazy. Until we start supporting one another, we can't expect for nobody to support us. We can't even support it. We can't even support our own people. We want to tear our own kind down. Hate is real amongst the black community. And until we get rid of some of this hate, I mean, it's going to be extra hard for us. You got to understand something. The struggle already real. And on top of the hate we put on top of our own kind, it makes it makes the struggle even harder for us, man. I mean, sometimes we got to be we got to learn how to be the bigger. Until we start putting some of this money black, we are not going nowhere. And I understand people. I've been understood it. But it's hard when you you got to put you got to start spending your money black, man. You got to start promoting black. You got to start doing a lot black. You got to understand something. We spend more money in America than any other race. We get everybody rich but us. And until we fix that problem, man, we're not going to go nowhere. That's why I say go vote. Go vote. If you feel voting is going to change some, go vote. But what I can say is this. I mean, we've been voting for, what, 145 years, 150 years. Voting ain't changed nothing for 145, 150 years. I mean, I don't know what voting, what you think going to vote and going to do now. But go ahead and vote. I mean, that's why I said if you're going to stand for something, stand for it. Stand for it. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we got to stand for our own kind, too. Every other race do it but us. Every other race do it but us. Everybody, every other race have no problem coming together. And I'm just using, and this is no, and this is no low blow to the Mexicans. I mean, but you know you can put, you can put 15 Mexicans in a house. No disrespect, because I love the Mexicans to death. <laughs> You can put 15 of them in the house. Get them about five, six years. Every last one of them got their own house and two, three cars in the driveway. You can't put three black people in a house from different families and think they're going to get along and try to profit on nothing because it's just not built in our structure that way. It's kind of not. And that's a cycle we got to break. This ain't a cycle nobody going to break for us. This is a cycle we got to break as people. Yeah, you know, we got to be comfortable with being around our own kind. We got to be comfortable with seeing your neighbor doing better than you without the hatred. You don't have to hate on your neighbor because your neighbor car is better than yours. You understand what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with gaining knowledge from people to, 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 to profit on your win. You don't have to rob and rape and pillage from a person to gain on your win. Knowledge, man. Maybe that person knew something you didn't know. How about sitting down having a regular conversation with him? Knowledge. I mean, war, you know how they say if it's not peace, if it's not peace, it's pieces. And at the end of the day, if if we keep going, the path we're going is we have no other choice. Because they are doing us dirty out here. So it's either going to be peace or pieces. But while we got this little bit of peace going on now, before we try to turn it into pieces, make peace with your own kind. Make peace with black people. You can't have pieces separated. We got to be peaceful amongst ourselves first, people. And then we can do what we have to do. But until we come together, man, we ain't going to do it like this. When you and your neighbor not getting along, and you and the dude down the street not getting along, I mean, it's too much not getting along. When it seemed like every, when all of them are on the same accord. I would, like I said, man, I think I held too much of your time. <laughs> but 
It was drop down, man. Like always, like always, my melanated family, I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. And I might hit y'all with another video, but if not, I'll probably do one tomorrow. But until then, yo, it's out. It's drop down, man. I love y'all.